Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Battlefield Hardline. Here we go, episode 8, Sovereign Land. With Kai's phone in place, tracking that money to its destination should be relatively easy. Getting it? Not so much. All right. We're following the money, baby. Let's do it. Previously on Hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawson's dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the wife to Kang might be an old friend of mine. <laughs> you get started? I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. All right, here we go, boys. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? <laughs> now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Nice! Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you? What's your story? <laughs> Oh, Marcus! Ooh. Damn, she's you hot! Got a little fat? What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, He's sorry. so awkward. This, uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. This is so awkward. Hey, what's, what's the story here? Sure, why not? Awesome. All right, Go where are we right going? Here, Sweet. Here we go, driving through the desert, son. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? He's still carrying that fucking gun. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I got to know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, huh? which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So wow. Knows where I am. <laughs> no way. 
Great. <laughs> Sounds like a, a pretty, pretty messed up man. Pretty crazy guy, that's for sure. That sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Huh. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd it go? Just gone. <laughs> Is it dead? Or what? Dirt road oh. straight ahead, that's ours. I'm pretty sure we just blew a stop sign back there. But YOLO! Here They've got are. a freaking compound out here, dude. Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be... Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick... Mendoza, right? What the hell? Oh, oh hey, shit! It just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. But Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. <sighs> Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Damn, dude! This is not good. We're gonna have to fight our way out of here, that's for sure. Wonder what the presidential suite is. No. <laughs> it's a jail cell, essentially. I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. How are we gonna get these cuffs off? That's right. the... Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, question. We gotta find a way out of here. Ain't no argument here. We're in an old frickin' silo, dude. Missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. Not know of. This is your business evening. You're one man miles from the arms of Back to remind you that all of us here with the okay, this way. Okay, this way. Shit. Which way now? We'll be back this way then. Follow me, bud? What are you looking at? Ah, uh, over here? There's somebody over there, shit. Enough noise to attract attention. 
Nice. Here. And there's a gun on the ground. Solid. And we got ammo, baby. Okay. Hell yeah. How many, uh, how many rounds you got? Not many. Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. Here we go, boys. Eleven shots. Where'd you get a gun from? Look out. Look out for what? Back here. Can we find some ammo or something? Nope. Let's go, Boomer. You with me, bro? The hell? They have enough. What is this, like soup and stuff? Yeah, chicken noodle soup. They have enough soup and water down here to last for decades, dude. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know-it-all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. I don't know what to do, dude. I want to get these guys without alerting them. Nice, at least they're moving now. That's one. He's got two more. Oh, that's not fucking good. Whew. Don't come over here and check that, dude. That would have been too much. I might hear somebody coming to my left, I can't tell. There's somebody somewhere. Hands up. <laughs> Fuck you! Did people hear that shit? Damn it, we just had to go live, dude. We had it! It was the last guy! He'd already started drawing his gun when we told him to freeze. At least we're not getting rushed by the entire frickin'... Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. Alright. Got out of the silo. 